smothering it with a pillowcase until it passed out and I'll toss it off the veranda. I got a hair on you. Fucking cunt. <laughs> Welcome to episode number 23. This is the last episode of our podcast for the entire year. Nah, just kidding. Fucking pranked you, you fucking dumb cunt. <laughs> you stupid fucking wanker. You fucking idiot. Ha <laughs> ha, you fucking idiot. That dumb fucking wanker was like, oh, fuck off. Fuck. Oh, they didn't say, fuck you, idiot. Yes. Dude, they're out. Fucking, they're our oh, supporters. Feels so good to prank, can't say. <laughs> we have some sponsors today. We have uh, Confidence Extra Soft that provides the comfort uh, and the sturdiness so you don't put your finger through the toilet paper and up your asshole and pull it out full of shit. And we also have a cow, which is, as you all know. Facing me. Yeah, wow. That must turn you on a bit. Yeah, I've been staring at it for a while. Do you reckon you could if you cut a hole, you'd fuck that? Are you saying that I have a very small dick? Yeah, no, nah, true. You'd have to cut the whole cow. Anyway, go to martyandmichael.com if you want to buy a bag or a shirt or a, a rape whistle that doesn't work. We have heaps of shit on there. All right, birthday. Uh, Paul Walker turns 59. Wow, and he got old quick. Dwayne The Rock Johnson turns 24. Wow, he's getting on a bit now, Dwayne. I remember when he was like, that the, photo of him in that, um, with a bum bag. In he was in WWF. And now that's, he's only 24. That's what steroid abuse does to the body. Just, you know, you look. It inflates he, you. He looks, he looks 40, like a very healthy God, muscular 40, but he is 40. 24. Fun fact for the day is that on this day, 70 years ago, rocks were invented. Holy shit. 70 years ago to this day, before that, <laughs> no rocks. <laughs> no rocks ever. So, And Dr. Rock, he invented the rock. He put sand together and made rocks. Where would we be without rocks now? There would be no <laughs> well, gravel There'd be driveways. no rock rule there, and which the, is what? What? Six million? That vid got? <laughs> <laughs> there'd be no gravel driveways that's for sure yeah there'd be no roads on to our first segment of the show and this segment has been renamed train delayed in london and basically this segment is where we just read fan questions thank you everyone who sends the questions in it means a lot to us these are good questions Very fucking unique. cunt first question is from Joel S Y E D underscore, and he has asked, "Why do you guys think you have been so successful with all your videos? What's your advice for young ones who want to use social media as a career?" Great question. Great question. Um, so we are so successful because we are the best at what we do. We were born like this, and um, we look down at our peers. We look down at everyone and laugh because we're born like this. We didn't have to do anything. We just are the best. So our advice to anyone else starting out would be just be the best. Yeah, I back that up 100%. It's simple. Just be the best and you can't go wrong. All right, next question is from C Kai dot worth one. Kai is spelled K-Y-E. And he is asked, does all your involve hurt each other or just Michael? What the fuck's that mean? He means does uh, do all our videos involve hurting each other or just Michael? Well, obviously he gets hurt too. Yeah, I get hurt just as much, guys. Um, I don't know if you saw, but my, I was nearly blinded, man. Yeah. You still, he still can't feel three of his teeth. They've gone numb from the eye hit. Nerve damage. <laughs> He's got nerve damage in his face. Next question is from Arch Paris. And Paris is P-E-R-R-I-S-S. -S. How many episodes are you going to do for your podcast? 45 a year or some shit. Or f I don't know. I have seven weeks off and then next year it'll be season two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I reckon yeah, at the end of the year, year, which will be in December, we'll probably stop for a bit. Yeah. And then we'll so we'll probably come back, I don't know, mid-January, late January. With a new set probably. And new we'll set, have yeah. We'll definitely change this up. Fake tits. We'll yeah, both yeah. have fake tits. On the back, center of the back. <laughs> All right, next question is from... Owen Carter, 1137, he's asked, what is your favorite sex position? I like a uh, sex position called the panicking skydiver. And it's basically where uh, you pretend like you have a parachute on your back and it hasn't opened. And um, you're in a room with um, four other men. They're all hard around you. And uh, you're fucking whacking them off, using your feet for the other two. And you're on your belly on a bed, panicking. 
<laughs> so you go on like this here, and then your feet so can somehow wrap around the cocks as well. well your you feet can't four come. Dicks. I can come my feet. Yeah, yeah. I thought <laughs> so. You can jerk four guys off. Panic, panic, jerk. Oh, you're yeah, yeah. on the bed, just going like that. The panicking skydiver, very effective for if you want four grown men to come quickly. <laughs> Dude, that is good. Good thought process. <laughs> very proud of you. I'm very proud of you then. Next question's from the assassin. No, just assassin underscore zero two eight. They have asked, what is your favorite video game? My favorite game is Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Same Kombat question song? for Marty. What is your favorite video game? <laughs> so they've asked it twice. Very specific. I don't, Mortal Kombat's still around, Joe. Marty is not much of a game, but we do have a fun fact from when we were in, I don't know, 18, 19. No, I think you moved. This is when we were tennis coaches. Marty would sleep over every night and we'd drive to coaching, or at least every Thursday night, and we'd drive to coaching very early morning Friday and coach for 45 minutes after he sexually assaulted me, getting out of the car, <laughs> grabbing at my anal region. But we'd stay up all night playing a game called Worms Armageddon 2. It's like a game of chess, but with worms, animated worms involved. And you have to kill the other team's worms. It's online. You get four worms. They get four worms. It's and like there's rankings. Four. There's rankings, world rankings, international world rankings. It's Xbox all legit. Live, 360. And we got up to what we got up to? Best we ever got was number nine in number the world. Number nine in the world. And we beat the world number one. Not There's once, but twice. Fuck all people that can say they were top ten at something in the world. In the whole world. Like, we've already been top ten at something. If and we now we're number one at we just being play, the best. If we didn't play for a day, we'd slip down the rankings. Dude, everyone fucking every played. Every single day. Marty would get upset if I played when he wasn't over. Because I'd fuck up. Because I'd, I'd deliver the strategies and, and mind the fuck the other person with the headphones on. I'd speak shit to them. And I'd be the executioner and do all the fucking like shots that he told me to do. So it was like two minds combined. Or I was the body and Marty was the mind. And we put it together and we became number nine. So In yeah. the world. No one's fucking ever been top 10 apart from the top 10. Yeah. And that's only like 10 people. Yeah. So we were the best 10 at least at that. And now... Just the best in general, and we we could have been the best in the world. We beat the world number one. We had the skill. We just didn't Dude, have the time we did. To be yeah, he he literally got a million He's a dollars. Good guy. He's a great his, guy. We had a big conversation when he got a million dollars inherited from his grandma, and he put that in a high interest account. We had many conversations with mm. him, and then he lived off the interest. He got fifty k a year every year from the interest of getting a hundred one million dollars from his grandma who died and then he'd just play Worms. Worms right, Armageddon every day. And that's how he got to number one. He had time on his hands and good investment. Oh, he was very good. Very good. Great man. Yeah. yeah. Silly Snackman. Yeah, yep. Silly Snackman was his name. If, and he's probably, yeah, he's watching right now, of course. Miss you, mate. Yeah. We'll have a game yeah. one day again, mate. <laughs> Next question's from Myrna Daniel 636 If you guys had the opportunity to change your name, what would it be? Piat? Piant? All right, put it this way. When you have a kid, what are you going to call it? The best. Fuck, it's going to get bullied. It's the best. It can't get bullied. Yeah, true. That's a is, good idea, actually. Is the best here? Yes, the best. If who I we, could who? seriously change my name? Well, I've thought about changing it from Michael to Michael. So M-Y-C-O-O-L. Because hmm. it sounds slick. And I've never seen a Michael spelling like that. Easier to spell as well. Yeah, Michael. But I reckon a really nice name that I like. I like Gabriel. I reckon if I had a little boy, <laughs> I'd call him Gabriel. I'd call my little boy the best, and then I'd grab his feet and pull him in half. <laughs> and then it'd be the, and then best, separately. Exactly. And then you've got two kids, and you, yeah, it's benefit if you have two. All right, next question is from Nicole Scamara, with the double A at the end. <laughs> Does Michael ever wear shoes? Not really. He's, the skin on the bottom of his feet is so hardened over the years that he's... Shoe, his feet are basically shoes. He doesn't need to wear them. Look up earthing, everyone that wants to know why I don't wear shoes so much. Because it's just, I don't know, James's mum. <laughs> James's mum believes in it. I, yeah, once you toughen your feet up, you don't need to wear shoes. Unless I've, sta I've stood on a few needles. Mm. And a stone fish. Oh, yeah. They have that point that goes up. But yeah, that is, we've done the laugh it off challenge where you can step on glass. Glass doesn't go into my feet because they're so fucked. It's as hard as this table. Solid oak. If you don't wear shoes for long enough... Your feet become shoes themselves. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't have to pay money. And you don't have to do up any silly laces. Dude, silly. I hated that. <laughs> I didn't learn how to do up laces till I was in year three. Yeah. Highly embarrassing. 
Anyway, next question's from J Dodds eighty eight. Marty, where in Germany does your bloodline come from? And Michael, do you have any other country of descent in you? So he, Marty was around back in that fucking Berlin city before the wall came down. After not his well, their emperor Hitler <laughs> fucking fucked it all up for everyone in Germany. Well, no, they took the wall down and it was a bit hostile. So we. We fled the country to um to Australia. Near. Wasn't that the poor half? Because there was a rich half and a poor half. Both halves were quite poor, but yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember it? I was fucking born in 1989. So yes, I remember it very clearly. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have the last name of Dutch descent, uh, Holland. Yeah, but I don't have any blood. I just he doesn't have, have any blood. Name. He's bloodless. He's but I do have medical marvel. I was in the first fleet from uh, from uh, James Cook's uh, chef, his private chef. That's where Michael's blood started. But he doesn't have any blood now. All right. Next questions from Axe Pulv. If you two were in a plane that was going down and only had one parachute, what would you do? Oh, I'd wait. There's, oh, there's not. There's more parachutes in the front of the plane. I'd say. And then I'd kick that fucking door out and I'd leap out with the only parachute on my back. And to I convince would, the people that, and then yeah, and then i would just that. pray to god that everyone else fucking died and then i would land and make up some story saying oh yeah no, no i wanted to give my parachute to the children that were begging me but everyone kept saying no marty you're gonna make a difference in the world you have to be the one that goes anyone who dies in a fucking plane crash to me sort of dumb it's a bit weak because like think about it the plane's going down and then just as it's about to hit the ground I'd open the door and then just jump out. So it's you'd only fall like I'd probably fall max two yeah, meters. I told you, yeah, that's yeah, that's my theory. That's what I would do as well. If it's nose diving, just jump out just it, before it hits. When it's only ten meters off the ground. And when the explosion happens, turn your back to it. You might have a few burns from like the, the if there's an explosion. But if it's water, jump out at the top. Jump out at the very top, like when it's going down straight away, and have a bit of a fun ride, and then just hit the water like it's like it's like a Pencil fucking dive. diving board or some shit. Just take a like a, a big rock or something board. with you, and then right before you hit the water, throw the rocks. Yeah, it breaks like the a water bit of luggage, throw it, bang, and then you're fine. But like, yeah, I wouldn't even. I just give the parachute to some loser <laughs> that was really scared, and then I just jump out like either two meters before it hit. Or if it's over water, I jump out and have a fun ride because it, yeah, you can't die. It's water. You can't die. And yeah, it's yeah, common sense. Just don't die in that plane crash. Last question is from Camilla. When you eat or look at beef, do you get a bit horny, or is it that only when they're alive? Oh, look. I think this is directed at you. If it's cooked beef or processed beef, yeah, um, there's no real sexual attachment to it. It's um, it's just. It's seeing a cow, hearing its heart beating and feeling its blood running through its body that um, really gets me jacked. So no, seeing uh, like a what? bit of mince lying around, no. that's It's dead, it's been done, it's used, it's had a load already. <laughs> it's used, old, discard it. What about if it's, okay, not just a slice of beef, it's the cow that's dead. Because you've talked about going back to the cow after you've... Yeah, it's still quite fresh though, like a day or two, you know, it's still quite What about fresh. when it's bloated and shit? Like, that's like a week, right? Yeah, sometimes it's a week. You, look, it depends the uh, the experience that I had with the cow. If it was a particularly long, violent, sexual one, I will go back to make sure, or just to sort of gloat over my win. <laughs> gloat. I would, I'd like to see my trophy again. <laughs> Maybe it's re- re-angered me thinking about how it was trying to survive or something or how it evaded me for a particularly long time i don't know sometimes i just wake up spasming (laughs) (laughs) oh dude i fully forgot about death for a bit then i fully forgot about death thank you Holy shit, that was funny. All right, our next segment has been renamed Sneak Lion! And this is basically where we just talk about a story that's happened to us. <laughs> oh, no. And this week's story, we talk about the time Michael gave himself a fucking money shot to try and shock some people. Yeah, fuck. You can't really tell this story and be cool. It was on the Europe trip. We're in London. The hostel owner 
not the owner or one of the workers there. Taylor, his name is, if you listen to it. He should listen to this. Yeah, he does. Yep. Great guy. We had a bet on whoever blew on their face first. He said he'd a give beer? me free beers or something at the bar. And then I had to give him, I don't know, 50 pound. That's the currency there. If I lost, so... I wasn't even uh, there for this. I just remember he said that and I just heard free beer because I was fucking eight... I was 20 years old. Hardly any money in Europe. And Europe's expensive. And it's so cold. It's the middle of winter. So I've gone to the toilet, just sprinted to the toilet, put my legs up on the wall. I could have done this an easier way. And in a less public way, maybe in your room. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I've gone to the, the bar's toilets. But you walk into a bar, go to the toilet there. Michael's got his legs on a wall with his back on the ground and his pants pulled like up, wanking off onto his face. Very graphic. No one wants to see that. It was so cold on the tiles, man. Like it was so cold. It was so hard to get hard first off. And to know that you're going to come on your face fucks it all together as well. Plus the fear of knowing someone might walk in. And they did. Three people halfway through walked in on me as I'm jerking off over my face with my legs up on the wall <sighs> on the cold tile, shivering a bit. What did they say? They're like, I just said, shh, shh, shh. Trust me, it's it's okay. Do not say anything. It's going to be worth it oh. in the end. I was trying to convince them, just leave it. Don't exactly tell anyone. Like Don't a tell predator. anyone. That is exactly what a predator would say. Yeah, but it's, I'm not predating anyone. It's just myself. I'm you being could, a yeah. predator myself. Took about, I don't know, 20 minutes. So you got there, you, you splashed the load onto your face. Yeah, yeah. It came everywhere around like the lips, but not on the lips. It was weird. It was all around here. Like, uh, so the moustache area and underneath the chin, but not on the lips. And, oh, then I walked out like with a big grin on my face. Like, yeah, I did it. I've accomplished something in life. And I went up to him and I was like, dude, I did it. I win. And then everyone in the bar fucking realized. And everyone got so offended. And like, I had dudes coming up to me going, that's fucked, man. You fucking fuck. You can't blah, 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 blah. Shut up. <coughs> I want a jizz on my face. I'll jizz on my face. It's good for the skin. And... I got fucking, uh, yeah, like 50 bucks worth of beers. And he just left that jizz right on on his face all night, let it dry. No, no, I waited so I could piss like as many people off as I could. Or not piss them off, just because the reactions were so good. And Taylor, I know you're listening to this, he was so proud of me. And yeah, he gave me like 50 bucks worth of beers because he worked behind the bar. Fucking worth it. Legend. And that's the Money Shop Michael story. Sorry, mum. All right, on to our next segment, Hmm. which has been renamed... (gasps) Hunt! Hunt, H-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-R-R-R-R-N-T. So basically, this is just a news segment where we, a segment where we read out news headlines and comment on them, okay? <laughs> Our first news story is from Sky News, and they have fucking said, train delayed in London as commuters' hair extensions get stuck in door. Open the door up and let the hair back or in. Or just fucking pull it through. Surely you can just pull it through for the hair extensions, unclip them, or just fucking wait till you get to the next stop. And then, like, just wait till the door opens. There shouldn't be delays on that. That person was selfish and rude. Devon girl really upset after seagull snatches Gizmo the Chihuahua from garden. Dogs are meant to be descendants of wolves. And here we have a dog that has been snatched by a fucking seagull. (laughs) That's a good way to put it. I like that. So a seagull can... Like peck it to death and then like I, has it just like picked it up and flown away? Yeah, like does it tr- swallow the chihuahua whole? I wonder. I would, I would be very interested to see what the seagull did with the chihuahua. Woman crushed to death by partner after falling while having sex over balcony. How do you both not die at that, dude? According to witnesses, the man staggered back into the building and went upstairs to join his friends. Are you fucking serious? That's a fake story. He's like, fucking job done. She's not getting back up. I'm going to fucking go. They were the boys. They'll love to hear about this. Oh, he fucked her to death. He fucked her to death. He wanted to get deeper and he ended up in her lungs. (laughs) (sighs) Which, of course, brings us to our final segment. And basically, this segment is where we do a prank fucking phone call. All right? We've done this one before, right? So all you, like the third or, f- or fifth episode or whatever it was, but this is episode number 22, right? And 
we lost the footage to this. So we have the audio, but we don't have the video footage to this when I have my phone stolen in Bali. It's a fucking good prank call anyway. It went really well. Everyone loved it. So I'm going to do it again. And we're going to have video footage of it this time. Yeah, and so I'm going to YouTube. turn into a fucking cat. I'm going to order some pizza and turn into a fucking cat during it. Yeah, good day. Can I just place a uh, pickup order, please? Yeah, what are you after? Yeah, can I just get um, a one large barbecue meat lovers uh, pizza, please, on a um, thick cr- uh, crust, please? The thick crust, sorry? Yeah, yeah, mate. Just a thick one there. Yeah. Can I also get uh, a, um, oh, what are they bloody called? The um, Them cheese ones? Them, um, what is it? Ma- The uh, margarita or some shit, is it? The, um, oh, the margarita, yeah. Yeah, that's the one there. Um, I'll just get that one on a... Classic crust, please. Yeah, anything else? Yeah, um, uh, can I just get the um, barbecue chicken one on a... Um, thin and crispy, please. And then just for uh, sides, you guys got that... Um, cheesy garlic bread. Um, yeah, can I also get uh, drinks there? You guys got a, uh, what is it, Pepsi or Coke there? Yeah, just for the drink, yeah. Is there, there a deal? Is there any, any deals you got going on with the sides and the drinks there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right on, mate. Let's uh, let's lock that one in. And for the drink there, what, what do you got, Pepsi or Coke there? <laughs> and what sort of desserts you guys got going on at the moment? Desserts you got going on at the moment? Sorry, what was that? What desserts you guys got going on at the moment? Uh, we just have the normal range, which is the cherry, <laughs> top brownie, cake, guava cake, chocolate cake. Lava cake. I'll uh, put down um, three of them lava cakes for us. And uh, them, you got them pancakes too, don't you? Them fluffy ones, puffofities or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read. read that order back to me, please. What was the end there? Yeah. Sorry, it's just bloody loud. You can't even got bloody the cat hissing at me and the fucking phone's going off in the background there. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to call you back, mate. I got a bit of a uh, an emergency here. I seem to be turning into a cat. Sorry. I seem to be turning into a cat. What do you think about that? Turning into a cat. Cancel that. I wonder what she was thinking. It's so hard to get the cat noise right. I should have practiced my meow more because I'm like sick. Half a, a, a whelping dog mixed with the cat. Yeah, I was trying to make it sound like many cats fighting, but um, I like it. Like, is that you were going nuts? All right, brother. Fucking sick for sticking around. Don't forget to tell us who you are and comment your home address. Now, now we, we can have a question of the week because this is the last podcast. The question of the week is how much? How much? How much? Comment how much and we'll read out the best answers next week. Where? The, the best. best. <laughs> We're the best. 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 We're the best.